like disturbance. Oh, see, they're eating something. They're, they're all diving down for a reason. We got a bunch of jungle algae blooming at the fish room. Guys, uh, so so we have a bunch of birds all in the water. We don't know what they're feeding on or something. Uh, but there's an island. This is one of the spots we wanted to fish. So we might have good action. Cool. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another catch, cook, and camp video. Today we're out on beautiful Lake Cascade in Idaho. It is just gorgeous, gorgeous summer day up here. Water temperature is 72. In fishing terms, if you're new to fishing, that's like primo water temperature for the fish to be active. We've got smallmouth, perch, and bullhead are the three main things we're targeting with trout thrown in there. A lot of times you catch trout um, accidentally on this lake while fishing for other things. It's, it's just going to be an amazing time up here with my brother. And we have, we'll show you guys the campsite later. Where in fact, we all got all set up, but we wanted to get out here and fish while it was still day. Let's do some fishing. All right, my friends, we've come into the back of this cove here and I'm going to try for some bass. Last time I was back here, like two years ago, I caught them pretty good. My dad and I both did. And uh, all these little boat docks and stuff back here, this little hidden spot. Oh, missed him, missed him. I had one. Yeah, he came out from under the dock. He came out from under the dock right there. All right, guys, we're on the case. I saw just like a flash and all of a sudden my, my line started taking off. Got him. Oh, first fish of the day. It's a smallmouth. Oh, nice, Under that dock on a fluke. On the fluke, you do. Woo! Not a giant, but that was exciting. Got the skunk out of the boat, as they say. First smallie of the day, probably not a keeper. But nice little fish there on a zoom fluke. Bait the shaped bait and a brown color with some little white flake in there. So that scored the first fish of the day. Yep, you do. No, we have a yeah, tiny something's fish. following it or something. No, I got double rig. Got you got a double rig. rig. Nice, bro. All right, guys. Mike got a little perch there. Action. We're getting to a couple fish now. It's a slow start for the first about 30, 45 minutes. Right. Oops, on the dock. That's not where the fish are. There we go. Drop it in the water just like a a bluegill falling off a dock. It's about that time of year too. Yeah, when the bluegill start crawling up on the docks. Start getting that sun. Yeah, they start sunning themselves on the dock, so you gotta cast onto the dock first and then drag it off for the natural presentation. Yeah, you want the natural presentation. Yeah. Some people don't want the natural presentation, but I'm all about matching the hatch, all that stuff. <gasps> Got him. Did you see did you see the splash guys? came right out from underneath that dock. This is a better fish. I saw the big swirl just came out and whoosh. Okay, it's not that big. He's just a smallmouth and all the smallmouth fight hard. I have to say guys, in my experience of fishing this lake, the smallmouth in this lake in particular are such, such hard fighters. Okay, not a big one, but he just smoked it. Just gobbled that little fluke right up. Guys, we're gonna try fishing some boat docks and stuff. Hmm, this looks good. Maybe that's the tack we need to take. Rock. Nice. Did you notice Did that you, sweet little hook set? You laid into him too, bro. Hello. Maybe they're shallow. Got him. Got him? Oh, look at that trophy, mm. bro. You want it? You want? You want no, a taste? No, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> That's what was biting down there. All right, Dude, guys. That's... Well, we got first perch of the day. This is about how. Uh, this, this is what you really afternoon... come. That's what you come to this reservoir for, right there. <laughs> I should make a big show of putting him in the live well. Guys, we cracked the code. We cracked the code. I came all the way up in the mountains. Oh, for that. Shoot, he got away. Dang it, bro! I need to eat. Um, you getting a bite there? Oh wait, I just got a bite. You, no you... joke. Got him. Yes, wow. guys, I got one. I got one. Don't want to make a big scene because we got people watching us. Oh, smallie, I think it's a smallie. Right Tried to cut me on the motor. trolling motor. Oh, no, it's, it's a trout. trout. Get him. Oh, 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 o
What are you? Did using? you see him? A worm? He tried to cut me off on the trolling motor. Dude, you can hear oh my! For you Dude, I could have, I could have been enjoying fresh trout this evening. Fresh trout over the fire. Instead, I'm still going. <laughs> Guys, we have a piece of people watching us, so we're trying not to make too big of a scene out here. But, uh, I am really disappointed by that trout. Oh, there's a bite. You getting a bite? Dang it. <laughs> Sail! I just want to yell it out. We should. <laughs> Sail! <laughs> Dude, did you miss that fish? Bro, are you going to be all right? This is a tough day. Guys, the sun is going down, and here we are. It's going down we're, we're my just, fishing career is what you're fishing. I, what I, I do need to do, I need to throw on a tube mm -hmm. and start fishing for smallies. Then you I'm do. Start you could use a tube from the Ace Video Tackle Box. Guys, link in the description below. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to be one of those annoying YouTubers who just plugs their merch and their stuff all the time. You need an Ace Video's just, rod and reel combo. I just need Ace Video's everything. Like sunglasses Ace. rod and reel combo underwear boxers, <laughs> yeah, boxers jock straps and, just, <laughs> and then just push it non-stop got him yes Good. there yeah. we go there we go guys got the another net? fish yeah i might need it another trout another dude. trout, another trout. yeah get the net get the net just in case i don't want to lose this oh look at him dude Dude, I just, I just flipped him in. <laughs> Thanks yeah. though, bro. Nice. Dude, we got something to eat. Dude, get a worm on. Throw it down there. That's the second trout. Wowzers, bro. Yes. Dude, that's a nice trout. Guys. Oh, it's an ugly cuss. Definitely a stalker, but hey, I will take him. Thanks, Micah, for netting him for me there. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yes, guys. Dude, right against that wall every time. Every, almost uh, every cat has got a bite. There we go. We'll throw him in the live well. <laughs> Getting bit again. Watch, watch and learn, brother. No way. Watch and learn. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was bad. <laughs> I'm taking notes over here. Oh yeah, the worm is gone. <laughs> All right, I'll be back, and then you can watch. Okay. Me. <laughs> I'm waiting with bated breath. Here we go. Oh. Uh, no, actually, no. we were really happy to stumble upon this spot right at the end. Well, I've been catching a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. It's slow. It's slow. Okay, we we picked up on that actually. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, I missed him. Whatever. You're so full of junk. <laughs> this time I'm gonna set the hook this way. That way I'll actually get him. Whatever. Got him. No way. Yep. 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 Folks, and it feels like a, it's another decent something. It's not. Ooh, it's fighting hard. Oh, you better loosen the drag. That's a perch, dude. Bro. That's a perch. A nice one. Yes. Whoa, that's a fatty. Yes. That is ridiculous. That is one of that's not you know giant, but when you've seen nothing but but you know four inches all day, I'll take it. At least it's a keeper. Yeah, guys. First keeper perch for me. We're gonna throw him in with this trout buddy there. Oh, we're gonna have a good dinner. Well guys, it was a tough first four or five hours of fishing here, but it's not entirely us. The people who live here, we talked to a couple and they said the fishing is just tough. So um, anyway, but we have a few fish and tomorrow morning, the top water bite should be hot, we're hoping. So we got, we got a few tricks up our sleeve. So let's get back to camp. Sure. First thing we're gonna do here, get a little fire. Whoa, flame going burn my finger there, folks. Pine cones and pine needles. Nothing better in the whole wide world for starting a fire. All right, guys, we're gonna use this metal grate and uh, roast these fish over the fire. So I have my trout here, and I think this is big enough for the fish are small enough, I should say, I can cook them together. So I'm gonna score the trout. Always score your fish when you're going to roast them over the fire because uh, that way the seasonings can get down in the meat. So to season this fish, we're going to use, of course, my Ace Videos First Cast seasoning. Link in the description below. But then guys, check this out. 
I have not used this in a video in probably like a year. This used to be the staple of my channel, Cajun Black and Season from Louisiana Kitchen. And I bought, this is a brand new bottle. And I saw, I thought, you know, I gotta, I gotta go, I'm gonna try that again. You gotta get back to roots. Get right? back to my roots, exactly, Mike. Just coat both sides of that puppy right there. And then I know that with that Louisiana Kitchen, I love the black and stuff, but it does need a little bit of salt on it. Just a dash. And then on the trout, we'll use my, uh, my Ace's First Cast seasoning. All right, let's uh, put the gray over and we got this ready for the fire. <laughs> it's a lower chair than I realized. How was your dinner? You really gonna bring that up? <laughs> What'd you eat? <laughs> I had the hot dog of shame. <laughs> the hot dog. It's, the hot dogs are reserved for those who can't catch any fish. Well, I'll share some of my fish if it makes you feel better. You know, I don't know. I feel kind of ashamed the, eating your fish. I feel so unworthy. The actually. hot dog of shame. That seems to be a thing. Oh, I should have brought some cup noodles. Cup noodles? I'm about to make up some popcorn, guys. Good. Just a minute. Popcorn with butter and salt. Good grief. Make it right over this here campfire. But first, I think the fish is just about done. Yeah. I think so. No, it needs just a little bit more. <laughs> you can't have fish medium well. You know, it's just, that's not recommended by doctors. All right, my friends, fresh fish. They always stick to this thing, which is annoying. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right. Well, it was a tough day, folks, but we got something. Let's say a prayer real quick. Ooh. Oh, that, look at that. That scared me for a second. It's just a daddy long leg. That freaked me for about half a second. My heart jumped there. Big spiders. I don't mind little spiders, but big spiders creep me out. I'm going to try this perch first because... I haven't had perch in a really long time. Mm. Overcooked it a little bit, to be honest. I mean, the fish is firm like that. Although perch is a firmer fish, though. But I think I overcooked that, that little fella. Had the heat on too low, basically. I should have put him more directly in the flames. Mm. Perch are so good, though. Let's try this stock trout. Mmm. A lot of skin there. You gotta be honest, the stock trout's really good. Mmm. That's actually, that's a, <laughs> that's a good trout. That surprised me. You want some fish, bro? Oh, dude, I'd love some fish. Get yourself some of that perch there. Let me flip the perch over so you don't have it side with no bones in it. There you go. Wow, thank you. What it is, folks, is, um, Trout in stock trout are raised on fish pellets. They eat fish pellets their whole lives, as opposed to crawdads and little shrimp and other fish. And so you can imagine one trout eating all fish pellets, other trout eating wild foods. There's going to be a taste difference. Dude, I'm kind of mauling. Dude, it, actually, I overcooked the perch. That's why it's having a hard time. It's like tough. Oh. I, I overcooked that little feller there. He's mm. He mm. didn't stand a chance. So that's better than a... <laughs> the, eating the wiener of shame. <laughs> the, the wiener of shame. No. That's what happens when you can't catch fish that are big <laughs> enough. Folks, it is time to make popcorn. You think I'm joking? I've got Orville Redden, Reddenbockers. Red, Redden. Knickerbockers. Reddenbockers there. Popcorn. All you do is... Well, I have this little... First of all, this little uh, popcorn maker here. Um... This is a little pan, and then it's on a stick here. It has this handy dandy lid for it with holes in the top of it. What we learned from the last time was uh, that you don't put too much popcorn in there. In fact, just a few kernels is more than enough, and uh, otherwise it'll burn. I burned a lot of the last batch. So we're just gonna do that. Oil, a little bit of, of uh, vegetable oil, 
and a few kernel popcorn. We put the lid on and we just bring it right over here to the fire. And we are just going to move this back and forth. Just kind of basically sh uh, shake it over the flames, just like so. We just keep it moving, keep it shaking, and we'll hear pops in just a few minutes. Oh, I heard it. Hear that? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. yeah. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got popcorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that not a great sound? I gotta keep shaking it. I gotta keep shaking it. I learned from last time. I didn't put very much in there. All right, that's it. We got it. This thing is flaming hot, so I'm using a uh, fork to grab the lid. Boom, look at that. White kernels, oops. White kernels of popcorn right there. All right, now we're gonna salt it. Like that. Put some butter, bam, right in the middle. And then just kind of like put this right over the fire, just a tiny pinch more. Here you go. Hey, gotta gotta get creative. You gotta when get you're creative out, yeah. when you're out in the wild, roughing it like this. Yeah, roughing we're... it with buttered popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're struggling out here. The struggle is real. <laughs> That's melted butter right there. That's the sound. All right, bro. You want to awesome. try some of this? Dude, yeah, I'd love to. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, dude, that's good. They need, they need more butter. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you what, for a man who didn't catch any fish today, <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> mm. I'll take more. <laughs> hey, you caught some fish, they just weren't. They, they weren't up to snuff size-wise. <laughs> Cooking popcorn over a fire. Who would have mm. thought that? Dude, do we know how to camp or do we know how to camp? Yeah, this is... I love our roughing it. Mm -hmm. It's fun to get here in the wild and do without. Yeah, <laughs> do without. Push ourselves to the limit. Mm -hmm. See how far we can go. Yeah. Hey, I've got some M and M's for this. Hey, do you want some? Yes, I would love. I, I was eyeing those actually. We'll just like just bring them in there, right man. in there. Seeing how much we can get by with doing without. You yeah. Know? Really paring down our life. That's right. Just making everything Spartan. simpler. Spartan, that's the word, Spartan yeah. lifestyle. You know, those pretzel M&Ms give it a good crock. They do. I like it. I feel like, a, you know, they probably have the like first caveman felt, you know? It really does. Mm. I feel like early man. Mm -hmm. It does. You know? We're going primitive out yeah. here. Fresh popcorn out of a skillet. With butter and salt. Mm -hmm. Freshly churned butter. Double grade A pasteurized. <laughs> Salted. <laughs> Solid five hours, a tight five hours. Are you are you okay in there, bro? <laughs> it's really <laughs> difficult to get jeans on in this dang. <laughs> All right, guys. So here is our camp. Yes, we are tent camping in this massive RV spot. There's a story. We are actually supposed to bring up a 31-foot RV up to this place, and it suffice to say that. Uh, it got trashed on the way up here. Luckily it was not ours, luckily it was a rental. Uh, but somebody over tightened the lug nuts on a tire and both tires were just flew off as we were going down the road. And it was a big mess, they had to actually have the police out and uh, they stopped traffic. We made the news. Uh, so yeah, that was it was really fun, that was really interesting. So uh, anyway, but we still had the campground for several days and so um we thought we had come up at least one day and tent camp mike and i did my my, my old man ended up not coming with us but uh, we're sitting in this massive <laughs> rv spot <laughs> tent camping here is uh my tent and here is mike's tent <laughs> not <laughs> really a flattering time <laughs> here's all of our trash <laughs> and here's our fire pit so you get a sense of like where we were uh, we couldn't really 
uh, show it last night because it got too dark on us. It's been an interesting uh, camping trip so far actually. We've had a lot's happened the last few days off camera that's been kind of hectic. Anyway though, but it looks like a beautiful, it is a beautiful morning. Looks like the, um, uh, the b top water fishing might be good. I'm actually gonna walk right down here. Let's do some top water fishing. All right guys, coming down here. We got a little spook on and it's kind of a trout colored one because of all the stock trout that were swimming around and hitting the surface yesterday. I figured there might be some smallmouth smoking some of those. Not actually smoking, but you know, like eating um, some baby trout. Look at this, look at this rip wrap and stuff here. This is what I'm talking about. Look how clear the water is too. All right, first cast of the day, folks. Little top water action here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, first cast. Dude, first cast. Had just one, just one crush it. That looked like a good fish too. Just walking the dog, folks. Just walking the dog. Long cast parallel to shore with the mist being burned off the water. Oh, something nipped at it. It's small. It's a little guy. Come on, I want that big one. Oh, oh, come on, grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it. I don't know if that was very big either. Oh, 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 did you see that I said? He literally flipped the top water in the air. Oh shoot, what is that? What is that? Like the fish are coming up and they're attacking it, but they just don't want it. They just don't want to eat it. Well guys, I give up on the old topwater fish and all these bites and uh, just can't connect. All right guys, so Mike and I are getting everything packed up here. We actually have to move campsites because it's so busy up here. I could not book this for the whole time we wanted to come up here. So we're gonna be packing up and we're gonna go out fishing after this. This was the only thing that separated me from gravel last night. We would have made our, uh, our tents in the grass, but uh, we were told we couldn't, which I thought was a dumb thing for a campground. But anyway, yep. It's the next campers can't won't <laughs> they don't have a prayer of starting that thing <laughs> you ready brah ready brah i think today's gonna be different i i, I just I have so. this feeling we had a nice hot day like the last couple of days it's been you know like upper 80s up here uh -huh. so i think that warm weather's gonna find these fish turned on we've got them figured out it took us almost all of yesterday to figure them out now we've got them pegged we got them right where we want them. That's right. <laughs> Cut these donuts right where I want them. <laughs> Day number two of roughing it continues. Yes. to cook a little breakfast for me before I continue fishing. A little boat side breakfast on this beautiful day. Ooh, we got gas. A little breakfast on the boat this morning folks. Nothing. I've actually never cooked breakfast on the boat. This is gonna be fun. Dude it's a delight. It's a delight it to be out on a beautiful lake like this. Yeah. Reservoir, bro. The reservoir. We have hickory smoked bacon on the menu this morning, folks. Going to grab some oh, slices of that. Drop that in our frying pan. Ooh, the sizzle. The sizzle of bacon. Oh, yeah, look at that, folks. Mmm, -mm, good. Nothing better in the morning. Look, the sun is even like shining upon it. And the beautiful thing, of course, about cooking with bacon is that then you just cook the eggs in, oops, well, you gotta, you can't have the, uh, <clears throat> the shell in there. Ooh, yikes. Yikes. 
Yeah, that's a tough eat right there. Oh, I'm out of propane. I gotta change my propane. Put this other egg in here. Yeah, my uh, propane totally ran out. I, you get a lot of mileage out of those tanks. Uh oh. Mmm. Fisherman's breakfast right here. Anyone's breakfast, really. Thick cut, too. Don't give me none of that little skinny bacon that you can see through. Scrambled eggs. Looking good. Turn this off. Oh, man. The fisherman's ultimate breakfast right here. Mm. So Mike is doing a 24 hour eating only what he catches challenge. Um, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. Go check out his video for sure. I'm not. I am well provisioned. I'm just sitting here, eating breakfast. Oh, what a sumptuous meal. There he is. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh dude, that was almost your meal right there. Dang it. I know dude, this is a whole different meaning to fishing now. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know I've done it before, man. I've had enough of that stuff. Mm. This bacon is really something. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, man. Bro, you're right. Check it out. Guys. Guys, look at that. We got a huge school of bait. Of oh, That's probably perch. Probably perch right underneath. Nothing like a little worm when perch fishing is tough. We have a feature, by the way, on our trolling motor that's one of the nicest features we think about it. It's called anchor, and you press a button, and it keeps you right where you want to be, um, right over the, over the school of fish in this case. Oh, got one. Nice. Perch. Oh, perch. Ooh, little, little guy. But still, right underneath there. Yeah, right under that dock. You know, Mikey, you could eat this if you want. Oh, wait, it's only what you catch. Yeah, bro. You know, if you catch one this size, you better keep it, oh, though. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely keeping it. I mean, I don't have to, but you should. And I was like, oh, this will be... Got him. Yes. Nice. This is, feels like... Yeah, maybe something solid. Net? No, no net, but I was going to say, if this is you're a not, perch... You're not, you're not as desperate as I am. <gasps> Dude, it might be a trout. might be a big trout. Yeah, I if you could you get the net... Totally No, it's a pike it's minnow. It's a pike minnow. Oh, you stupid. Oh, man. Get rid of him. Yeah, they already... Guys, this is a funny story. They uh, went on like 20 years ago, this big pike minnow killing spree in, uh, in this lake because they had taken over the whole darn lake. They poisoned whole tributaries. They netted hundreds of thousands of them. And they killed them all because they completely took over the lake, restocked it with trout and perch and bass. Now this is one of the best fisheries in the area, but uh, these guys did ruin it at one point years ago, so we're going to kill them. So this was one of those situations where the weather was perfect, the conditions were perfect, the water temperature was like 72, and we should have been slaying them but we simply weren't. We went to all of our usual spots, all of our usual boat docks everywhere, and we just could not pick up a fish to save our lives. We even went into the back of this cove, and we thought, okay, we'll try for some bullhead. Usually bullhead's in the back of the coves, use a little worm, and uh, throw a few worms out, get a hook up here, <laughs> but yeah, that's about the sum total of the day. And then I had another hook up where I thought it was something a little bit better here and uh, we pull it up and a slightly bigger perch and for the entire afternoon this was my biggest fish of the day right here and actually I caught that perch on a piece of perch but that was it well my friends we are taking half time we're we're beat we're getting beat right now I'm I'm uh, Mike has caught a couple good fish but I am uh, definitely losing the game right now we're gonna go back we're gonna set up camp at our new camping spot regroup and hopefully come out for a hot evening bite all right guys check out this camp spot here not too bad not too shabby don't try to book your camping trip like two weeks before you leave folks because you will struggle
Um, so that's why we're at two different ones in two days. It would be nice just to set up camp once, but uh, here we are. We're glad we have a spot. It's, be it's a beautiful day no matter what. We've been talking to some other fishermen and it's just the grind. They said it's tough. Fishing is just, the struggle is real. yeah. Fishing's just slow, that's all there is to it. But we are gonna cook up first here. A little lunch, some hot dogs, it's funny. Uh, things have actually, it's a total reversal from yesterday. Now I'm eating hot dogs of shame and Micah is cooking up fish. We got some good sagebrush here. Sagebrush, you wanna talk about stuff that lights up fast on a fire. Grab yourself some sagebrush, folks. Pine cones, sticks, never gets old making a fire. At least we have bun length wieners here. I hate hot dogs that are too short. Why do they even make hot dogs that don't fit in a bun? That makes no sense whatsoever. That would be like buying a boat, but then somebody's like, oh, by the way, the trailer doesn't quite fit the boat. Uh, so you might have to get a longer one. Like, what? Why not just make the boat and the trailer the same length? I mean, it, that makes no sense to me, but anyway, that's never made any sense. Why do they even offer that as an option? <sighs> we get, yeah, here's, we're gonna make chili dogs. Chili dogs of shame. I love chili dogs. Got uh, stag chili, Silverado beef, which is delicious. Dude, I gotta steal some flame from you. You're gonna steal some flame. You know, there's a stick on the end there if you want to take that one. Oh man, I have to say, I'm almost a genius when it comes to roasting hot dogs. Look, at it's just barely starting to get black. I got my degree in weenie roasting from Idaho University. I have to say, cooking over a fire is fun. Oh yeah, wild caught chili dog. Would you like a bite of chili? The dog. No. Are you sure? I'm good you could, enjoy. You could just give up right now no. and just enjoy all the good things in life. No. I'm gonna enjoy a lot of good things tomorrow morning. <laughs> when it's done. I've got I've got 36 hours. 36 long hours. <laughs> Wait, is this a 36 or 24 hour? Oh, see, I'm already confused. It's setting in already. Is that all you're gonna eat for lunch? Is that one small fillet? Maybe, but I do have a small that portion looks, there that I could eat for supper. And mm -hmm. maybe I just like go, no. I'm gonna go catch a bunch of perch this afternoon. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lack of food has made you has dull. Has weakened me, yeah. <laughs> I just wanna die. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my tent here. Here is here's my tent, and uh, here's here's Micah's tent. Hmm. It's a, like a suite in here. <laughs> it's like the, the it's like the. Uh, I think I suffocated mine. Yeah, I was gonna say that's gonna put your life out in there. <laughs> it's gonna snuff you out. It's like going to sleep in a plastic bag. <laughs> exactly. Wow, how come yours looks? See, this is like the honeymoon suite. <laughs> I got the cheap side here going. I'm gonna have to, this uh, Bass Pro Shops Eclipse tent isn't, uh, I don't know, it's a little shaky here. I have to, the tent broke, or the peg broke there, so I have to make do, oh, that side fell. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that for now. We'll figure that out later. All right, guys, we are loaded up, ready to go. We are ready to go fishing. Again. again. Good to be fishing again. Yeah, it is. A little refreshment, a little R and R. So we're only catching a couple of small perch, but we're really happy, guys. If you notice this spot here, this is where I caught the trout and the perch yesterday. Uh, the fish is just different. Every time Micah or I have come to this spot, we cast along this wall, we get a bite. What was that? Got one, right against the wall. Great. It's like magic. It's a perch. Again, not a big one. Gosh, 
They're just, that's, that guy's a little bit closer, but he's not going to eat, that's for sure. Guys, it has to be this spot, bro. I'm my memory banks are totally empty. If we don't catch one, catch him here, I don't know where else to go. There's uh, best thing you could do is like go back to the docks and throw flukes this evening. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Hopefully, yeah. you hit a bass like I caught earlier today. Look at this giant tree in the water, yeah, though, that's guys. Not that. That's that's, kind of stuff. that's impressive. That's recently foliage. fell because it's all green still. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like that's really recent. All right, first cast this spot on some timber here fallen timber that felt like a bite for some reason um oh my gosh i do have a bite i just had a bite right there folks first cast of this spot oh, there's one. Got it. Yes, next dude cast. this is crazy next. this is what the oh i got one too, you got, you got one too? oh no he got off here we go yeah, dude, they must be loaded on this bank I got one. Got him, Brad? Yeah. On a whirly bee. We finally found the bank. I think they're mm -hmm. stacked. They are stacked up here. Mm, not a... Oh, oh, this is a keeper. Oh, heck yeah. Guys. Oh. Look how low the sun is in this sky. I got my first keeper perch. And even then, it's not a giant. But at least we got a keeper. Oh, man. All right. Look at all these perch Mike has been catching. Guys, go check out his video. Oh, all right, got a little bit of a uh, little dinner there. Bro, this is where they've been at the whole time. Dude, I think so. You know why? I think it's this water stirred up. The water's all stirred. It's not crystal clear, yep. They've been, they're, they're hanging out. I, I think that on the clay banks, it's stirring up little, you know, little yeah. microorganisms and all the little things that perch feed on, all the minnow, everything is getting stirred up. Ah, uh, we should have come here first. Whoa. Oh, well. We've never really caught much here in the past, so... Oh, yeah. Got it. Got it. This is a better one. Dude, he skinned it. He skinned that smoke wagon, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it's yeah, a yeah, oh yeah, it's yeah, the biggest yeah. perch of the day right here. Biggest perch of the trip, bro. Yes. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Dinner oh, so is good. served. Woo! Mmm. There it is. Oh, this you might got be one, too? Nicer one too. This might be another nice one too, unless I found one. Too. No, 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 a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer. Look at that, look at that. Oh, bro. Look at that, Doubles. Bro. Yes. Yes, it yes. took us all day, <laughs> but we got life. it. Look at that, bro. Had to go through a lot of little ones. Oh, dude, I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'm going to eat. Oh, yes. I've got the two biggest ones in here. Boom. Guys, this is the lure that has finally been getting the bigger perch. Tiny little whirly bee there. Chartreuse. Man, got one. Got one there yep, I got one. Same dude. There must be a school. Right oh, this is a little guy. Oh, it's a really little guy. Okay, this is the color we were getting earlier. There are a bunch of them sitting right there, bro. That's a nice one, guys. Got Micah got another quality perch. Oh, we waited all day, folks. It's supper time, and I make onion rings for the first time. All right, who's ready for dinner? I'm going to assume that the biggest one in here is mine. <sighs> We're going to fillet this, guys, because I want to deep fry the fish. And uh, so I'm not going to keep him whole. If you are new to fishing, perch are one of the best tasting freshwater fish ever. It is just universally known. Besides walleye, walleye and perch, which I think are in the same family, are two of the best tasting fish. Bro, if we were night fishing for catfish, perch is one of the best. One of the best. Guys, while I was filleting up, Micah catches biggest perch Ooh. of the day. It's 13 inches. This is what we were talking about. Yeah. Like this is normally yeah. what we. What, this is why you drive a couple hours to come up here. But uh, took one. all day, bro, but you got him. We got him. I've got fish. I can eat for my 24-hour <laughs> challenge. Welcome, folks, to Ace's Outdoor 
kitchen, we have here the spread fish fry breading mix. This is the seafood version. It's a little bit crunchier than the other Louisiana kitchen brands. Got our oil because we are deep frying. We have this amazing first cast seasoning, link in the description below. And we have an onion for the onion rings. Let's get cooking here. Turn on our little butane. Ooh, hear the hiss. Whoa, there we go. Little flame. It's always a little bit nerve wracking cooking on the side of the boat because you never know if it could fall off the boat. One of these days it will happen. It just will. Being generous with the Crisco oil. <laughs> what? <clears throat> no. The onions. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna use some uh, fish fry mix, crispy. Pour some in a bowl. Then we're gonna add some of my first cast seasoning to it to spice it up. Yeah. Then we're gonna add some salt to it because usually they don't make it quite salty enough. And then we mix it all together with our knife. Since I have a limited resources, I uh, kind of use one utensil or uten just a few utensils for everything. And then I'm not gonna like dip these onions in anything because we don't have all of that stuff out here. So I can't bring butter and egg wash and stuff on the boat. It's just too much. So these aren't gonna be the crispiest onions in the world, but uh, drop our first onion rings in there. I think the oil's actually not super hot enough. They should be like with with bubbles and stuff, but it'll be fine. The first batch is a test batch. Then we will take the fresh perch fillets, drop them in there, let them get nice and coated. They're gonna get more coated than onion rings because they are stickier. I think onion rings definitely need some milk water, uh, some like buttermilk or something to make it stick. If anybody has any recipes for me, for onion rings, I would be grateful for them. How are we doing? Ooh, I would say they're just about done. Let me finish with my fish fillets here. Ah, a little hot water there dripped off on my foot, on my knee. All right, hmm, that looks pretty darn good to me, folks. Before we sample the onion rings, first time onion rings, and they're fishermen's onion rings, please remember guys, they are just experimental. Um, and when you're out fishing, when you're cooking on a boat, you have to pare down the amount of things you bring out. So, so they are very, very simple, but I would appreciate a nice recipe if anybody had a good recipe for me to try um, when it came to that. It is beautiful out here. All right, a little hot. But, mm. good, but it's basically just like fried onions. It doesn't really remind me of that, like, you know, red robin onion ring, you know, tower. You know, if anybody else had those, those are amazing. It's fine. It'll, it's good. It'll complement the fish nice. Let's take a peek at the fish. Oh, oh, it's steamed up the, oh, oh yeah, that's done. Sunset dinner cruise. That's what we took, bro, the sunset dinner cruise. That's right. I would share some with you, but since you're doing your 24 hour challenge. Hey, I'm pretty satisfied over here, I've gotta say. You got a lot of food. Yeah, I do. I ended up mm. scoring pretty well. Mm-hmm, mm, mm. Perch is so tasty. That was literally the last spot on our list to try, guys. This spot, with all these trees, it looks amazing. We've stopped here several times before. I used to fish tournaments on this lake. It looks amazing, but it just never really done that well. So we thought, well, we'll get our ropes end as far as fishing goes. And sure enough, what do you know, it produced. There still is one thing we have not conquered, um, and that is the bass topwater bite. I got all those blow-ups this morning and didn't connect to the single one. You, you connected with only one. 
Anyway, that's all we still have to do. So in the morning, before we head out, before we have to check out, we may get a chance to redeem, hopefully, hopefully the bass are busting top waters. Let's just put it that way. Are you awake? No. No. Oh. Guys, I would like you to observe now whose tent is superior. Huh? Huh? Looks like you're having a little trouble with your tent there, brother. What? Looks like you're having a little trouble with your tent there. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't all afford nice things. <laughs> Gorgeous morning out here. I tell you what, as far as weather goes, we could not have put in an order for a more perfect bout of weather during our camping trip here. I wanna show you guys something here. So, the outside of my tent is nice and dry, but the inside, look at this. Look, my sleeping bag is all wet. The inside of this has all kinds of water droplets. All the inside of my tent, my t sleeping bag, everything, even my forehead, like King Nebuchadnezzar, was drenched with the dew of heaven this morning. I'm pretty sure it's the first time I've ever awakened with dew <laughs> on me. That was that was, was weird. A sign or like that. Yeah, I know that that was. I don't ever remember tent camping and that happening before. It must be really really humid out here or something. Anyway, we are gonna get out there and we're gonna fish. No breakfast, we're just gonna fish. So here are the two top waters I'm gonna try this morning. One is a whopper, plopper, and the other one is the spook. This is the same spook we actually tried yesterday. Got some blow ups on it, but none of them wanted to commit, so. And then I'm also gonna have some of these donuts, actually. I said I was gonna skip breakfast, but it's the most important meal of the day. You know, that's a lie, actually. Yeah? Yeah, it's not the most important meal of the day. What is the lunch most? Lunch is the most important meal of the day. You know why? Because you can go without breakfast, you could have a massive lunch, and that could carry you, because it's right in the middle of your work day. You know what I'm saying? If you had a big breakfast, but then you gotta wait basically 24 hours, you know, at, and within that 24 hours, you have to work and do all kinds of stuff as well. Okay. And then you sleep. You're better off having a big lunch. Then you only really skip one meal, then you go to bed. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I was eating the, I was so concentrated on eating my donuts, I was kind of only half paying attention. There's one, got him! On the whopper plopper! On the what? On the whopper plopper, the first cast. Guys, I switched away from the spook to the whopper plopper, and one just came up and crushed it. Nice. Dude. Could you get the net for me? This is a nice fish. I mean, it's no gigantor, but it's, oh, it's spitting up something too. I don't know what it's spitting up. Oh yeah, he's barely hooked. He's not a giant, but he's, he's kind of hooked funny. Oh yes. First cast switching baits, nice, guys. Bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. Gosh, that's a lot smaller than I thought. So check it out. He wanted that whopper plopper right there. I used the spook for the first probably like uh, 20, 30 minutes. Nothing. First cast switch into that. Nailed it. It's so interesting that I'm using a rainbow trout colored um, whopper plopper because they just stocked this lake with a rainbow trout. And we've seen a lot of little ones swimming around. I think those bass are feeding on them. Oh, maybe last cast. <gasps> Dude, did you see that? That was a... Oh my gosh! How is he not getting that? With the bat came out of the water, that is a nice fish. Does he have it? Nope, nope. See, look, he's attacking it. But he's not. This is so exciting. 
Nope, see, there you go. You know I need to do? I need to not move it when he comes up to bite it. My friends, here is the situation. We have a spawning bass down here. I put an underwater camera right by the bed, and now we're gonna try to catch it using, I don't know why I'm whispering as if the fish is gonna swim off, but we are using this brand new jig head from the Ace Videos Tackle Box. We have upgraded the jig head in the tube box. Still same colors of tubes, but we've added a better jig head to it. And so I'll put a link to my tackle box in the description below. Let's see if we can get this bedding fish to bite. This was extremely interesting to me because it was late June and the spawn was done or should have been done. Normally it gets over in late May, maybe the first week of June. But there was this fish still guarding a bed. And at first, while I was fishing for it, I thought it was for sure a female guarding the nest. But now they see the footage, the bass is really skinny. So I think it was just a male, just a male left over from the spawn still hanging around for whatever reason, for whatever reason, guarding the nest. And he was a really vicious little dude. And it was funny because every time it got in that zone, he just, he could have eaten it easily, but he just wanted to bite it. He just wanted to like munch it and then let it go. And he was really, really vicious. I didn't have to work that hard on him at all. And every time it just got in that zone, mm, he was like, get out of here, get out of here. It was so funny to me because it's almost like the bass would, would, would go away for a minute or two. It was like, maybe it'll be gone when I come back. But, but then every time it would come back, it was just vicious. I cannot believe how fast the, those fish are. Like, let's see that in slow motion. I mean, just like, it's just trying to munch it. it. Almost remind me like if the bass thought it was a crawdad, it's like, I'm just going to grab it, bite it real hard to mess them up and then spit them out. That right there, he literally moved the tube out of the nest. Just moved it again. Like, hey, stop. Stop it. But then after a while, it was like he kind of gave up. Like he gets kind of more half-hearted about it. Like, come on, get out. Come on, please go. Please go. And then it was really funny because he took a different tack. It's like he's just, he took a couple more little bites at it or looks at it. And then he's like, I'm just going to turn my back. I'm just going to turn my back right here. We're going to actually speed this up because he sat with his back to it for a long time. Like, maybe if I just ignore it, it'll go away. So just sat there, just sat there. I just speed it up because I was kind of a little standoff here. I just kept the tube there because I wanted to see what he would do. And after a while, he turned around. I was like, okay, well, maybe it's dead. I don't know. Then just sat there with his back. And then when I jigged it just slightly, it p pulled it out of the nest. Try something crazy. Guys, we're going to try this big, bright color here. This is the brightest tube I have in my tackle box. Here's my Ace Videos tackle box in case you guys have, are just new to my channel. Um, six of my favorite tube colors. We're gonna try this big bright one though, just to see if it like just makes the smallie angry. Got her, got her, yes. Oh shoot, she came off, she came off, are you kidding? Oh, dang it. She totally had it. Well, we're gonna leave her be. That was fun. Guys, don't forget to pick up the Ace Videos Tackle Box for the link in the description. We've improved it with even better jig heads. It was already great, but now we have better jig heads in it. Check it out in the description below, bro. It was so much fun. Dude, it was a good day. Good, with you. good fun. Good guys, time. Guys, fantastic time out here in the mountains. I hope you guys enjoyed. Put some more, I'll put some more videos on the side there. If you guys want to check out more catch cooks and camps, we'll see y'all in the next one.